I will love thee, O Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer, my God, my strength, in whom I will trust, my buckler and the horn of my salvation and my high tower. I will call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved from mine enemies. The sorrows of death come past me and the floods of ungodly men made me afraid. The sorrows of hell come past me about. The snares of death prevented me. In my distress, I called upon the Lord and cried unto my God. He heard my voice out of his temple and my cry came from before him, even into his ears. They prevented me in the day of my calamity, but the Lord was my stay. He brought me forth also into a large place. He delivered me because he delighted in me. For thou will light my candle. The Lord my God will enlighten my darkness. For by thee I have run through a troop, and by my God have I leaped over a wall. As for God, his way is perfect. The word of the Lord is tried. He is a buckler to all those that trust in him. The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. Now I've read to you Psalm chapter 18, verses 1 through 6, verses 18 and 19, and verses 28 through 30, and Psalm chapter 19, verse 7. May the Lord add to his hearing, reading, and applying of his holy word. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Thank you for that reading, yes, brother. <clears throat> All righty. We want to say welcome. And thank everybody for tuning in again to another episode of Let Us Reason Together broadcast as we do to bring in the Sabbath every Friday evening. Uh, we thank you and uh, we welcome you. We ask that you please share, like, share, subscribe, and share, okay? Mm -hmm. Um Reading for us that wonderful psalm and our reader for tonight from the Memphis Israel of God is Brother Rashad. Peace and welcome, my brother. Peace and blessings, family. It's good to see y'all again, virtually, of course. And uh, let's get this work done in the vineyard. I'm sure y'all need it as much as I do. <laughs> yes, sir. Hey, brother. Yes, sir. And all the way from under that arch in the St. Louis is our brother Kevin from the Israel of God in St. Louis. Peace and welcome, my brother. Good to see you. Yes, sir. Likewise, likewise. Peace and blessings to everybody. First of all, let me say this, man. I apologize, everybody, for the late time. Uh, been having issues on my end with this. I don't know what it was, but uh, from her on out, I promised them my, uh, uh, my word is to make sure that I try to keep it going at, the, at our regular time at 740 time. All right? So that's why we push it up sometimes, 740, 730, 745, I mean, uh, 750, 745, because we'll be trying to alter over here uh, because some things be happening. And sometimes technology is like that. They go to show us that man ain't perfect because only God can deal with this thing. So, But anyway, um, I apologize. I hope y'all uh, uh, bear with me on that, on my troubles on that end. And uh, we're ready to bring this word, man. Thank you for yes, tuning uh, in to us. Lord, yes, yes, uh, well, look, brothers and sisters, as you all can see, tonight's lesson is titled uh, The Law and the Testimony. Oh, I'm tripping. The Law and the Testimony. Why would we do a lesson <laughs> like that? The Law and the Testimony is because you run into people. They have all these funny Bibles. Uh, they only have certain books in it. Um, you run into people like I have a neighbor who, who brought me a, a New Testament Bible. It had the New Testament and Psalms in it. Like, man, this isn't a Bible. Where's Moses' writings? Okay, where's Isaiah, Jeremiah? Do you have these books that it'll have Moses' five books and then some of the other? Some of the other prophets, right? Not all of them. I, what they call that book, bro? Uh, 
I forget the name of it, but I know they call it. Yeah. Right. So <clears throat> the Bible is the law and the testimony, the testifying of the law. You have things written in the law, and you have testimony of those things written in the law. Okay, so we're going to show you that tonight, that the Bible is two testaments, but it's one word of God. Um, and we're just hoping that somebody gets edified from this lesson. Hopefully we'll give you something to share with others. When you run into them, you'll be able to uh, uh, articulate that these two things go together. And if they're not together, then you're missing something. Okay. So we're going to start tonight's lesson in Isaiah chapter 8. We're going to pick it up at that 13th verse. Isaiah 13 and 8, and we ask that you guys share. And uh, we thank you again for supporting this Israel of God production, uh, as well as all of the other platforms that we have. Okay. So yes, uh, Isaiah 8 and 13, my brother, go ahead and read it. Sanctify the Lord of hosts himself mm -hmm. and let him be your fear. Yes. And let him be your dread. Yes. Yeah, see, and see, one of the main problems that we have is there's no fear of God. Mm. And you run into all these people like uh, there was a, a video floating around of some brothers that had a menorah sitting on the table. Mm. Uh, they was doing a, a Thanksgiving celebration. They say, but they say they were going to call it Yahweh shot day. <laughs> and then when he went to showing you the food, they had pork bacon in the corn. They had a pork roast and a ham, a pork ham. Okay. Wow. See, and he was, and he was, uh, he was heavily breathing when she was naming the pork. He was like, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Right, and then somebody sent me a video today of the brother, that same brother, because I'm pretty sure he got bombarded by the people. And today, somebody sent me a video of him explaining why you can eat that swine. He was saying that the Lord was saying it's just unclean to do sacrifice with, but as far as eating it, you can eat it. You mm -hmm. see, see, Israel love to go out their way to <laughs> circumvent the word of God, man. Facts. Uh, and you know what? But but see, but the whole problem is there's no fear, brother. Because mm -hmm. if you feared God, you wouldn't try to do something he told you not to do is okay. You wouldn't even try to fool yourself. You definitely wouldn't try to fool somebody else with it. Mm -hmm. But anyway, you should fear the Lord. Let him be your dread as we just read in that verse 13. But skip on down, my brother, to verse 16. Go ahead and read that. Bind up the testimony. Yes. Fill the law among my disciples. See, we got you got to have the testimony and the law, brothers and sisters. Skip down and hit that verse 20, brother. To the law and to the testimony. What that say, brother? Read that one more time. To the law and to the testimony. Go ahead. If they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. And look, we are going to show you all tonight that... The law and the testimony goes hand in hand. It goes together. You read some in the old, you read it back here. You can go and read in Isaiah 7 that a virgin was going to give birth to a child. They're going to call his name Emmanuel, which being interpreted as God with us. Then you can go read it in Matthew 1. You can read it in the law, and then you can go read testimony of what's written in the law. Okay? Yes, mm -hmm. Not... And then you can go read in Moses' writing that a man leave his mother and his father and cleave to his wife. Mm -hmm. Then you can go read where Jesus spoke them same words in Matthew chapter 19. Mm -hmm. You can go read it in the law and then you can read testimony of the law. Okay? Yeah. So, so if it's written like that, then that's what it is. So look. Let's go to the next spot. Let's go here, 1 Corinthians chapter 11. Because the New Testament, a lot of these writings is testimony of something that's written in the Old Testament, written in the law, if you will. Yeah. Let's go here, 1 Corinthians 11, 
and 23. 11 and 23. 11 and 23. Go ahead and read it, brother. Well, I have received of the Lord that which also I delivered unto you, that mm -hmm. the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he mm -hmm. was betrayed, took bread. Mm -hmm. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, take, eat. This is my body, which is yes. broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. Okay, so now Paul said that Jesus delivered this to him and he's delivering it to the people. Now, this is a long time after the death of Jesus, but Paul is reflecting back to what we can read about in Matthew chapter 26. But go mm -hmm. ahead and read, brother. After the same manner, also, he took the cup when mm -hmm. he had supped, saying, This mm -hmm. cup is the New Testament in my blood. Mm -hmm. This do ye as oft as ye drink it in remembrance yes. of me. Go ahead. <clears throat> For as often as ye eat this bread and drink this cup, ye mm -hmm. do show the Lord's death till he come. Uh-huh. Wherefore, whosoever <laughs> shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord unworthily mm -hmm. shall be guilty of the body and blood of the Lord. But see, you will run into people who will tell you that you're not supposed to do the Passover anymore. You're not supposed to do the feast days anymore because that Old Testament stuff is done away with. But we're reading right here because we know we can go read the Passover in Leviticus, the 23rd chapter. And you can also go read it in Exodus, the 12th chapter, Teach. where they took a lamb on the 10th day and put him up. And on the 14th day, they killed him. OK, yeah. so so you can see it that it's still getting talked about right here after the death of Jesus. We're not going to read it in the old book, but we reading what Paul is telling you right here. But go ahead and finish that, brother. 28. But let a man examine himself, mm -hmm. and so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. Yes, sir. For he that eateth and drinketh unworthily, eateth and drinketh damnation to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. Because that's what this is about. It's about that blood of Jesus, brothers and sisters. And if you drink of that Passover unworthily, it's, it's like you are not even considering that the Lord died for you. OK, so look, let's go back to Matthew 26, where Paul was quoting Jesus at. Let's go ahead, Matthew 26, and pick it up at verse 26. Jeez, bro. Now, if we wanted to, like I said, we could go to hit Exodus 12 and show you where the Passover came in, because this is the Passover. OK, and even though Paul didn't say that right here in, in 1 Corinthians uh, 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 11, he didn't call it the Passover, but that's what it is. But we about to go read it right here in Matthew 26. And just to prove that it is the Passover, my brother, uh, I'll, instead of starting at verse 26, let's hit that verse 18, then we'll skip to 26, okay? Yes, sir. Matthew 26, hit that verse, uh, verse 18. What that say? And he said, go into the city to such a man and say mm -hmm. unto him, the master saith, my time is at hand. So he already knew because he told you in, in, in verses one and two of this chapter that in two days he's going to be crucified. Yeah. He, he knew this was coming up. So right here in verse 18, he's telling them to go to this man's house. Go ahead and read. My time is at hand. Mm -hmm. I will keep the Passover at thy house with my disciples. So he said, I'm going to keep the Passover. But it was written in the law first. It was written in Exodus 12. It was written in Leviticus 23. It was written back there that you keep the Passover. And then you can go and read in other places where they kept the Passover. And Jesus is keeping it. And we've read years after he was dead, Paul was writing to the people in Corinth that they're supposed to keep the Passover until the Lord come back. And if he's not back yet, you still keep that Passover. But yes. go ahead and read, brother. Want me to skip down or continue? Uh, what verse is that? We just finished 18. Yeah, skip down and hit that verse 26. So we saw in 18, he said he gonna keep the Passover with his disciples. Now let's go look at him do it. Verse 26. Go ahead and read it. And as they were eating, Jesus took bread and blessed it and break it and gave it to the disciples and said, take, eat, this is my body. Yes. And he took the cup and gave thanks and gave it to them saying, drink ye all of it. Now, this is what we was already reading in 1 Corinthians 11, where Paul mm. said, I'm giving you what the Lord gave to me. On mm. the same night in which he was betrayed, he took that bread and he took that cup. 
this is the night we're reading right here, brothers and sisters. Yes, sir. But 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 Moses gave you a forerunner of it in the law. Mm -hmm. Moses gave you a forerunner of this in the law, and now we're reading in the testimony about it. Same thing. Go ahead and read, brother. For this is my blood of the New Testament. Yes. Which is shed for many for the remission of sins. Yes, sir. So now let's go and hit Acts chapter 28 real quick because people need to understand something. Uh, you have these people who, who will, will will only read stuff in the New Testament. And I know people that the only thing they read, they start at Romans and they go to Titus. <laughs> That's where they stop at. They only read Paul's writings. Wow. That's all yes, they read. That's all yes, they read. Yeah. They won't hmm. they won't refer you to nothing else or, or try to quote nothing else. Okay. So look, Acts 28, and let's start at 23, and Paul is going to tell you where he teaches from, okay? 28 and 23. Go ahead and read it, brother. And when they had appointed him a day, there came many to him into his lodging, to whom he expounded and testified the kingdom of God, persuading them concerning Jesus, both out of the law of Moses mm -hmm. and out of the prophets. From morning till evening. So so we see right here that everything Paul taught come out of Moses and out of the prophets. In other words, he taught from the law. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. That's what he taught from. Go ahead and read, brother. 24. And some believed the things which were spoken, and some believed not. Uh-huh. And when they agreed not among themselves, they departed. After that, Paul had spoken one word. Well spake the Holy Ghost by Isaiah the prophet unto our fathers, saying, mm -hmm. Go unto this people and say, Hearing ye shall hear and shall not understand, mm -hmm. and seeing ye shall see and not perceive. See, listen, brothers and sisters, Paul is quoting Isaiah right here because we read that when he was teaching them from Moses, writing in the prophet, he was teaching them from the law. It says some people believe and some believe not. No. It's almost like we get upset, bro, Kevin, when people don't believe what we're trying to teach them. Yes, sir. Yes, you, sir. You, you, we should be able to know from what we read in this Bible that it said right here, go unto this people and say, hearing ye shall hear and shall not understand, and seeing you shall see and not perceive. Mm -hmm. Okay? And let's see why. Go ahead and continue, brother. Verse 27. For the heart of this people is waxed gross. Because the heart, the mind of this people has waxed gross. Go ahead and read. And their ears are dull of hearing. And their ears are dull of hearing. They don't want to hear nothing about this Bible. Go ahead and read. And their eyes have they closed. Mm -hmm. Lest they should see with their eyes and hear with their ears and understand with their heart and should be converted and I should heal them. So now Paul quoted Isaiah right here. And in fact, Paul was teaching from Moses and the prophets. And Isaiah is one of those prophets. That's right. Yes, sir. So not only did he teach from them, he quoted one of them right there. But let's go to Isaiah chapter 6 where Isaiah said that, okay? Let's go hit Isaiah 6, and after this, I'm going to slide the mic over to my brother. So Isaiah 6, Isaiah 6, we're going to start at verse 8, because mm -hmm. Paul didn't get mad and chase people down when they walked away because some of them didn't believe what he said, and we have to get like that. We have to go ahead and accept and understand that everybody does not want to hear the word of God. We should know that because we, we we just read it right here. It says some believe and some didn't. So if it happened to Paul, why wouldn't it happen to us? Everybody's not going to believe this word, brothers and sisters. That's right. That's right. Huh? What say you, bro, Kev? Jesus Christ said the same thing in John the sixth chapter when they all mm -hmm. start walking away. And he asked Peter, y'all going to leave too? Mm -hmm. he, ain't say, he ain't say, hey, go get them. Right. right. What they what they doing? Hey, no, no, we don't let them go like that. Um, no, you got a right. You got a, you're a free agent. Yes, sir. You're a free agent from the from day one. From yeah. day one. Ain't nobody micromanaging. 
Yes, sir. That's right. Mm-hmm. Ain't nobody micromanaging you. Hey, right. some believe, some don't. Some some will come to the church one time, never come back. Some come two times. Some will come three times. Some will go somewhere else. Whatever it is, hey, that everybody has the option and the freedom to choose to do whatever they want to do. It's their choice, okay? So look, mm-hmm. so now Paul quoted Isaiah, and let's see what, how Isaiah wrote it. Right here, Isaiah 6 and verse 8. Go ahead and read it, brother. Also, I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send, and who will go for us? Then said I, Here am I, send me. And he said, Go and tell this people, Hear ye indeed, but mm-hmm. understand not. Right. And see ye indeed, but perceive not. Go ahead. Make the heart of this people fat and make their eyes, their ears heavy and shut their eyes, lest they see with their eyes and hear with their ears and understand with their heart and convert and be healed. Because that's what you, you got to hear in order to be converted. But guess what? If you shut your own eyes and shut your own ears because you have some things you want to do, hey, that's your option. It's on you. But what we're trying to prove tonight is, What's written in this, what's written in the, in Moses' writings and in the prophets is good to go. You can teach Jesus from, from Genesis to Malachi. Okay? That's right. You can you can teach end time prophecy all mixed up in from Moses writing to Malachi. Without even going in the New Testament at all, you can show end time prophecy. Okay. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. this Bible. We read in the first spot we hear in Isaiah 8, it said, it says you got to be taught from the law and from the testimony. And if somebody teaching you from one section and not the other, it says there is no light in that person, which means there is no truth in that person. Mm -hmm. They have to be teaching you from both sides of this book. If they don't, there's no truth in them and they have, they lack understanding. Okay. So I'm going to land right there for the moment. What you got, brother Kevin? All right, great, great uh, foundation, brother. Great foundation, great and, mm-hmm. and like, and I mean to jump back to the point where that brother that you had spoke on. You know, it's just like what you just said. We close our ears up to what we want, and we close our eyes up to what we want. Mm-hmm. We know good and well if the Lord say He don't want it on His want it for His offering. What you think you gonna need? It's gonna be good for your body, bro. Right. Mm-hmm. Come on, we gotta quit making excuses. Just, hmm. just say you don't. Just say you love pork. And you don't want to give it up. Right. But don't lie on the word. Come on, man. Right. Let's go to John the tenth chapter. Hey, and if you want to do Christmas and Thanksgiving, don't do that. Do that. Yeah. Don't lie on the Bible though. Right. You know? Cause this book gonna bite you in the end. The Lord tell you. Indeed. John the tenth chapter, and we're gonna pick it up at verse. 29 because John John finna show us by the mouth of uh, Jesus what happened to him um, as he moved forward and it's gonna show us because we're dealing with testimony here testimony but uh, 10 and verse 29 brother go ahead and read my father which gave them me is greater than all and Uh, no man is able to pluck them out of my father's hand yes sir I and my father are one. That's when you take the oh, Go ahead. Let's see where the fight right. begins. Go ahead. Then the Jews took up stones again to stone them. All right, because as he said something that sounds foreign to him. Mm-hmm. Go ahead and read, bro. Jesus answered them, Many good works have I showed you from my father. For which of those works do ye stone me? Uh-huh. The Jews answered him, saying, For a good work we stone thee not. But for blasphemy, and because that thou, being a man, makest thyself God. So they clearly understand what he's saying, and that is showing us that Jesus walking in the flesh, he was of the Godhead, and he came down here. They know what he's saying. Mm -hmm. So we point that out to you, too. Go ahead and read. 34. Jesus answered them. Is it not written in your law? I said, ye are gods. He should have told them, no, y'all making a mistake. That ain't what I'm saying here. No, he didn't. He said, ain't it written in your law? Go ahead and read, brother. 
if he called them gods unto whom the word of God came and the scripture cannot be broken. So the law is what? Scripture, he just said. Yeah. Yep. The law lets us know that, I mean, the Bible let us know that the law is called scripture. It starts in Genesis and it's, it ends itself in uh, Malachi, especially at this time when they were talking. So now, finish reading verse 35, I'm sorry. Or did yes, we sir. read 35? We read 35? Yes, sir. Okay, I'm jumping ahead, y'all. When you mess up and you come back, and you come back with a little bit of a vengeance, you, you kind of like overdo it. So let me slow down, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> that early bump had me, had me upset. Uh, let's go to Psalm 82. What where, where did he get that from? Because you just can't pull something out the air and say it, it exists. Mm -hmm. And then if it don't say as it is written, then you still read the book, you'll be able to see it because you're supposed to be able to eat this wrong. You're supposed to do that. Mm -hmm. You're supposed to study this thing. 82 and verse 1, brother, go ahead. God standeth in the congregation of the mighty. He judgeth among the gods. Who he judge among, brother? The, the gods. gods. Uh oh, I know where this thing going to. Go ahead. How long will you judge unjustly and accept the persons of the wicked? Selah. Yeah. Uh oh, talk about us, because that's what we do. Go mm -hmm. ahead. Defend the poor and fatherless. Do justice to the afflicted and needy. Deliver the poor and needy. Rid them out of the hand of the wicked. So he said, when well, you see unrighteous judgment, deal with it. What you running from it for? Why are you closing your eyes? Go ahead. Five. They know not, neither will they understand. They walk on in darkness. All the foundations of the earth are out of course. Why we think that it's in order when he said it's all out of course? Mm. Girls yeah, want to be boys. Boys want to be girls. I mean, all kind of things. People want to eat things that's unclean. People running around shooting up the building. I mean, all kind of stuff, man. Hey, hey, look, bro. Brothers have accepted this effeminate hammer that's been thrown at us, okay? <laughs> as far yeah. as your clothes and, and the way you carry yourself and everything else that you do, your thought processes, and everything. It's like, mm -hmm. yeah, it, it's unbelievable. Exactly. So he said, all the earth are out of course. Go ahead and read, brother, mm -hmm. what he say now. I have said, ye are gods. Oh, that was Jesus talking. He let you know I've been around. You're going to tell me what I'm talking about. I have said, ye are gods. Go ahead. And all of you are children of the Most High. Yes, sir. Go ahead. But ye shall die like men. Uh huh. And fall like one of the princes. Oh, you were you were gods in the beginning. He said, but all oh, you shall die like men and fall like one of the princes. What I mean by gods, we, we talking thought, we talking what God was finna deal with the thought process. Because that's going the body gonna come naturally after the mind is made up and fixed. So now let's go back to Matthew chapter 22. Matthew chapter 22. Let's go look at some more testimony because we just looked at testimony then we went to the law. Matthew chapter 22. Jesus, I like when Jesus do stuff like this right here. Mm. I like when he get down on these cats, man. Mm -hmm. they, they come after him and then he have his fun after a while. I'm like, all right. Mm -hmm. I got you. I cornered up. I got a question for you. <laughs> right. 22 and 41 right here. Let me have a little fun. Go ahead and read, brother. 41. While the Pharisees were gathered together, Jesus asked them, saying, What think ye of Christ? Wait, he waited till they was all together. He ain't want nobody split from the group. He mm -hmm. said, Well, I'm going to wait till every last one of these jokes together. Because mm -hmm. can't nobody say, Man, if I was there, I would have answered it. Y'all didn't know this. No, I'm going to make sure everybody eyes shut and mouth closed when I get done. Go ahead and read. Who, excuse me, mid-42, whose son is he? They say unto him, the son of David. Yes. <laughs> he saith unto them, how then doth David in spirit call him Lord? Yes. Saying, the Lord said unto my Lord, 
sit thou on my right hand till I make thine enemies thy footstool. Yes. If David then call him Lord, how was he his son? Oh, he asked him a question. What, what can they do? Let's see what they answer. <laughs> and no man was able to answer him a word. Neither durst any man from that day forth ask him any more questions. See that? He shut it up. He shut it down from that day forth. Yeah. And this is what this book will do. Because it, it ain't necessarily about you. It's about the book. They told us that this book was like hell. Right. And like fire. And it's, and it's got that. Uh, it's got another one too up in the. Uh, uh, I believe that's Timothy where it quote the other one. So now let's go. Psalm 110. Psalm 110. See where he quoting from, because he quoting from the law. Let's go look at it. And guess what? This ain't the law where Moses spoke of, uh, uh, spoke of, but this is called the law nonetheless. Right. And this is a prophet who had this stuff wrote. wrote. David is a prophet. He wasn't just a king. This guy was a prophet. 110 and verse uh, 1. Will you get it? Go ahead and read, brother. The Lord said unto my Lord, sit thou at my right hand until I make thine enemies thy footstool. Yes, sir. Ain't that what he just read? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. He asked him a question. How then is he, is he his son if he just said that to him? Go ahead. The Lord shall send the rod of thy strength out of Zion. Rule Go. thou in the midst of thine enemies. Yes, sir. Go ahead. Thy people shall be willing in the day of thy power and the beauties of holiness from the womb of the morning. Thou now, yeah. now look at what he said. He said, the Lord shall send the rod of, you read verse two, right? He yes. said, the Lord shall send the rod of, of thy strength out of Zion, rule thou in the midst of thine enemies. Mm -hmm. Thy people shall be willing, what? At the in the day, day of, thy, of power. thy power. Go ahead. In the beauties of holiness from the womb of the morning. Thou hast the dew of thy youth. Thou hast the dew of thy what? Youth. Youth. So we know Jesus is talking about none other than himself. He said, this is what David was saying about the father and the son having a communication. Mm -hmm. His God, his Lord, was. this Lord was talking to his Lord. And, and David is acknowledging me as his Lord. So how he calling me son in? Mm -hmm. oh, Teach, brother. It? Teach, mm -hmm. brother. Now let's go to John, the 18th mm -hmm. chapter. We're going to read one verse. Back to the testimony. One verse. They walking it out like that song said. Back walk and forth. It out. Back and forth. Yes, yeah, sir. walk it out. Yes, sir. Yeah. And what you got to do, man? Walk that thing out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just make sure you walk it out right according to the book. Walk it like you talk it. That's right, brother. 18 and verse 36. We just want that verse. Go ahead. Jesus answered, my kingdom is not of this world. Yes. If my kingdom were of this world, then would my servants fight? Oh, he said this verse go round is it's not, it's not for that. And this is where he was quoting some of that from. He let them know my kingdom is not of this world. My servants would fight. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, Law is letting you know in that day my people gonna be willing. Ain't nobody gonna be hiding and running. No, it's gonna be all on. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Mid 36. That I should not be delivered to the Jews. But yes. now is my kingdom not from hence. Mm -hmm. Now was my kingdom not from hence. And now I'm gonna turn it back over to John Susan Brother. I mean to uh uh duh. My brother uh, James over there, I'm calling you John. <laughs> but sisters and brothers, the law and the testimony, this thing is more than just being called the law and the testimony. This right here ensures us what which book is the truth, who which God is the truth that these people are claiming in this world. It lets right. you know the prophecy lines up perfectly. And people tell you one is bigger than the other or one don't exist. No, because you see that it's, it's, it's definitely pointing to what they actually were saying and doing. Right. But go ahead, James. Hey, Brother Kevin, that, that was some good script right there, man. 
and uh and and we just gonna keep it rolling okay the title again is the law and the testimony as you can see and this old testament is referred to as the law new testament is referred to as the testimony they go hand in hand let's show you another example let's go hit this psalm chapter 22 uh, because Brother Boy got a lesson out there titled Psalm, the book of Jesus. Mm-hmm. A lot of people don't realize a high percentage of the writing in Psalm is the Lord himself talking first in the first person. Yes, sir. I did this. They did that to me. They offered me that. They treated me like this. The dog surrounded me, so forth and so on. Right. And and some people don't realize that, but let's go read some of this stuff about Jesus in the law, and let's go see if it happened in the testimony. Let's yes, go see if the testimony can testify of what was written in the law before it even happened, okay? Mm. So now, Psalm 22, let's pick it up at verse 1, my brother, 22 <clears> and 1. <throat> go ahead and read it. My God. My God, mm-hmm. why has thou forsaken me? Oh, wait a minute. I know we we this sound familiar to us. Mm-hmm. A lot of these New Testament people have read this in the New Testament, but we reading it right here in the 22nd Psalm. My God, my God, why has thou forsaken me? Go ahead and read, brother. Why art thou so far from helping me mm-hmm. and from the words of my roaring? Skip down to verse 6 and continue, brother. But I am a worm and mm-hmm. no man, a reproach of men and mm-hmm. despised of the people. Look here. He said, but I'm a worm. He said, I'm not even a man because mm. they weren't even treating him like he was a human being. Okay. Mm. He said he was a reproach of men and despised of the people. Can we read in the 53rd chapter of Isaiah, he was despised? Yes. Mm -hmm. We can go read that. So look, Mm -hmm. skip down to verse 16 and continue, brother. For dogs have come past me. Mm. The assembly of the wicked have enclosed me. And we ain't talking four-legged dogs either. We're not talking German shepherds and pit bulls and Dobermans. He said the dogs have come past me, the assembly of the wicked have been closed me go ahead and read what else they do brother pierce my hands and my feet yes i may tell all my bones they look and stare upon me Mm -hmm. they part my garments among them and cast Mm -hmm. lots upon my vesture you see that it said they pierced him they parted his garments and they cast lots upon his vesture Mm. But he said in the first verse of this chapter, my God, my God, why has thou forsaken me? Mm. We see this, right? So now let's go hit this Matthew 27 and let's go see if the testimony can testify of what was written in the law. Okay. Matthew 27. Let's start at verse 45. Matthew 27 and 45. Let's just go and see. Mm -hmm. 27 and 45. All that good stuff. My God, my God, why has thou forsaken me? That was spoken in the first person back in the psalm. He said he was compassed by dogs. They pierced him. They cast lots upon his vesture. Did we see that? Mm -hmm. They they cast lots upon his vesture. And uh, it was one more thing. Let me see. Let's just make sure because we want to read all of this. Hmm. They parted his garments. So now, 27, 45. Go ahead and read, uh, brother. Now, from the sixth hour, there was darkness over all the land until the ninth hour. Uh Uh-huh. And about the ninth hour, Jesus cried with a loud voice, saying, Mm -hmm. Eli, Eli, yama sabachthani. Mm -hmm. That is to say, my God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? Do we see this, brothers and sisters? Now Jesus said it, but he told you almost a thousand years before he said it that he was going to say it. It was written in the law, though. It was written in the law in the 22nd Psalm. My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? Mm. 
We, we see this, right? Skip, skip back up, my brother, and read that verse 35. What did it say? And they crucified him mm -hmm. and parted his garments, casting mm -hmm. lots, that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by the prophet. You see this, brothers and sisters? Mm -hmm. Because it said they parted his garments. We read that in the 22nd Psalm. Yes, it sir. says they cast lots upon his vesture, right? And yes. then it said all this was done that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by the prophet, because we know David had this written in the 22nd Psalm. Go ahead and read, brother. Yes, sir. They parted my garments among them, and upon my vesture did they cast lots. Do we see this, sisters and brothers? We see how the testimony testifies of the things written in the law. Mm -hmm. And it's telling you right here in this verse. It says that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken of by the prophet who wrote it in the law. These books go hand in hand. And if somebody ain't reading that Old Testament, if they're not reading more than the prophets, they lack understanding, sisters and brothers. Let's go yeah. to Luke chapter 24. Luke 24 and pick it up at verse 17 because this is after the death and the resurrection of Jesus. Mm. And you had a couple of these brothers walking down the street and Jesus came up on these brothers. Sure did. He rolled right up on these brothers. But he had fixed himself so they wouldn't recognize him because he's resurrected from the grave. He got that God power. He got that spiritual body. That's so right. he can do some that things, change. okay? Right. Yes, sir. So he got a glorified body at this point. Now watch this. Uh, 24 and 17. What that say, brother? And he said unto them, what manner of communications are these that ye have one to another as ye walk and are sad? Uh-huh. And the one of them, whose name was Cleopas, answered, saying unto him, Art thou only a stranger in Jerusalem, and hast mm -hmm. not known the things which are come to pass there in these days? Mm -hmm. And he said unto them, What things? So now he's acting as if he don't know what happened, so they can, right. so he can see what they talking about, right? <laughs> right. That's right, brother. But they told him, they say, man, if you didn't hear about Jesus getting crucified, you must be a stranger around here. Right. You must be new. But go ahead and read. <laughs> and they said unto him, concerning Jesus of Nazareth, which was a prophet mighty indeed and word before God and all the people. But did y'all notice what how they described him? Uh -huh. They said they said he was mighty in yeah. his deeds and, and, word. Word. and in his words, right? Yes. Y'all yeah. see this? It says he was mighty indeed and in word before God. And all the people. Okay, go ahead yeah. and read, brother. And how the chief priests and our rulers delivered him to be condemned to death and have crucified him. So they telling Jesus about that. So then he finished listening to everything they had to say about what happened to Jesus and how they were sad about that. But watch his reaction to these brothers once they finished giving him the spill. Pick it up at verse 25, brother. Go ahead and read it. Then he said unto them, O oh, fools, and slow of heart to believe all that the prophets have spoken. You see this here? He said, you are fools and slow of heart to not believe all the stuff that the prophets wrote down. In mm -hmm. other words, you should have read what the prophets had written. Just like when Jesus told you in Matthew 24 chapter, he said, Daniel told you about the abomination of desolation. He didn't even explain it to you. He just say when it happened, then you know that the time is getting ready to pop off. He didn't even explain to you what the, what the abomination of desolations was because you should already know what it is. Right. Because you should have read Daniel the prophet. And he's telling, which was because Daniel the prophet wrote in the law. And he said, you fools and slow of heart not to believe all that the prophets wrote. Because they wrote about the thing that was supposed to happen to Jesus. Right. Go ahead and read it, brother. 26. Ought not Christ to have suffered these things and to enter into his glory? See what he's saying? He said, yeah. if you had done some reading, you would know. There it is. 
Just mm -hmm. like if you had read Daniel the 11th chapter and the 12th chapter, you know exactly what the abomination of desolation looks like. He didn't even describe to you. He said, when you hear about it, he said, don't even come in your house and get nothing out of it. Right? Mm -hmm. He said, if you have, if you have, if you have work, don't even come back home to get nothing out of your house. He, but he didn't even explain to you what it was. He said, you should have read it in Daniel. It's just like if I was to tell you on the day after the Super Bowl, we catching a flight to Hawaii if you want to go out and buy your ticket. Then the first thing you gonna do, you going you are you either already know what day the Super Bowl is on, or you gonna find out when it is. Facts. You gonna find out what day it is because James buying free tickets to Hawaii, man. Hey. So so guess what? If you concerned about the abomination of desolation, then you better go read Daniel the eleventh chapter and the twelfth chapter. How about that? I'll suggest that and then catch mm -hmm. some of that revelation to go with it. All right. Mm -hmm. So you will then you will have the law version and the testimonies version. What say you on that, brother Kevin? I say, praise God. Yes, <laughs> yes sir. So so look, so that's right, brother. So look, so Jesus told them, he said, wasn't wasn't all this stuff supposed to happen to Christ? So yes. why are you sad? Well, go ahead and read, brother. 27. And beginning at Moses and all the prophets, mm -hmm. he expounded unto them in all the scriptures the things concerning himself. So Jesus went through all the stuff in the law telling them about what was supposed to happen to him. There was no New Testament, was no testimony. He was reading all the law, showing them everything that was supposed to happen to him. Go ahead and continue, brother. And they drew nigh to the village, whither they went. Mm -hmm. And he made as though he would have gone further. But they constrained him, saying, Abide with us, for it is toward evening, and the day is far spent. And he went in to tarry with them. Go ahead. And it came to pass. As he sat at meat with them, he took bread and blessed it and break and gave to them. Mm -hmm. And their eyes were opened and they knew him. And he vanished out of their sight. See, a Man. glorified body can do that. A born again wow. body can do that. A saved body can do that. Huh? That's right. That's right. Wow. Bro. You can just vanish like that. But go ahead and read. Yeah. And they said one to another. Did not our heart burn within us while he talked with us by the way and while he opened to us the scriptures? Go ahead. And they rose up the same hour and returned to Jerusalem and found the eleven gathered together and them that were with them saying. So, so the, look, go ahead, finish that verse. The Lord is risen indeed and hath appeared to Simon. So look, so they went back to Jerusalem. They found the apostles. They hooked up with them. And while they was with the apostles, Jesus just popped in the room with them. Now the doors were closed. Show up. He just popped into the room with those guys, right? And mm -hmm. said, peace be unto you. But then after he said, look at my hands, look at my, you know, look, look at what they've done to me. It's me, you know. Then he told them something that's very important. Now, we've already read back here in verse 27 that he was explaining things that were supposed to happen to him that was written in the law. He's, and, and it says in verse 27, starting at Moses, okay? And in all the prophets, he showed them all that stuff that was written in the law about him, right? But look what he's getting ready to tell uh, the apostles in verse 44. Go ahead and read it, brother. And he said unto them, these are the words which I spake unto you mm -hmm. while I was yet with you, mm -hmm. that all things must be fulfilled, which were written in the law of Moses. Which was written well, brother? In the law of Moses. Go ahead. And in the prophets. Yes. And in the Psalms uh -huh. concerning me. Do we see this, brothers and sisters? Jesus said, when I was with y'all, I was telling you that all that stuff that was written about me in the, in the law is going to come to pass. The stuff that Moses wrote, the stuff that Isaiah wrote, the stuff that David wrote, all that stuff is coming to pass. Okay? Mm. But go ahead and read, brother, one more verse. Then opened he their understanding that they might understand the scriptures. You see that? And the scriptures is Genesis to Malachi. That's mm -hmm. the law. The law, the scriptures, the testimony is Matthew through Revelations, okay? I'm going to land right there. What you got, Brother Kevin? Mm -hmm. 
Whoa, that brother told you to slow down, man. You ain't supposed to be killing no fire on Saturday. <laughs> Shout out to you, brother, in uh, Texas. I believe yes, that's it. Yeah, that's right, about Noel in Houston. Yes, sir. So now let's just pick it up in uh, Psalm 118. And that, that is, it was so many nuggets there. That's why I said, praise God, man. I can touch on so much stuff Jesus was doing in that 24th chapter. And yes, that, sir. When they vanished out of their sight, he said he opened their eyes. He said their eyes were open. Then they knew him. Yeah. Yep. They know him right then and there. Oh, man. You know how we do? Snap. That's hell. And then he said they're arch burned. He said they're yeah. arch burned. Took the ski mask off of their face and he off his face on them. And they're like, right. It's your dude. Pew. Right. Right. Wait, where are you go? You know? Gone. Go. Let's go to Psalm 118. Let's go. <laughs> Psalm 118, and we're going to just keep it going, sisters and brothers. There's stuff we need to know about because, that, like he said, the, the Bible say this, the average church will not teach you any of this stuff. They get one of these one by one and will break you until you go to your grave and then you got to stand up before the Lord and ask why you died broke with no understanding. And that's just oh, that's just something that we gotta go through. Psalm 118, when we when we uh, neglect to get this understanding, 118 and 21, brother. What I say right there, Rashad. I will praise thee, for uh, thou hast heard me and art uh, become my salvation. And that's the same one we just got through looking at. That vanished out of their sight. But what else is he called, brother? Go ahead. The stone which the builders refused has become uh -oh. the head. Wait a minute, though. What? Uh -oh. The stone which the builders refused. Yes. It's become what? the headstone of the corner. Yes, uh -oh. sir. Somebody refused this guy. Mm -hmm. Whoever mm -hmm. this is right here, we need to play a little bounce around game and get a little understanding of this thing. Let's go to Acts. Yes, Let's go to the New Testament for this thing. Acts, the fourth chapter. Yes, sir. Acts chapter 4. Let's go look because he said, Thou art my salvation. Yeah. And let's go look and see what they say when they see him and they understand. After Peter, Peter, them, they, they trying to say, Wait a minute, Peter. Hey, man, y'all doing all these great things. What is going on around here? So mm -hmm. Peter finna get, Peter, them finna get them some answers. Acts 4 and verse 8, brother. Go ahead and read. Then Peter, filled with the Holy Ghost, said unto them, "Ye filled with, brother? The Holy Ghost. So he ain't talking out of his mouth. I mean, out of, talk, out of the side of his neck, he talking no. with the Holy Ghost. Book. In other words, he filled with his word. Go ahead. Yeah. Said unto them, ye rulers of the people and elders of Israel. Yes, sir. Skip down to 10, brother. What do you say? Be it known unto you all and to all the people of Israel that by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom ye crucified, whom God raised from the dead. The he, same one James just showed you doing that and then appearing before the people. Go ahead. Even by him do this man stand here before you whole. Whoa. Go ahead, read, brother. This is the stone which was set at naught of you builders. Wait a minute, this is that stone? Yeah, yeah. Whoa, the law told us. Uh, David said it, man, Psalm 118. Uh-huh. Go ahead and read. Set at naught hey, of you. Shout out to better Brother Moore. He has tipped off to that brother. And yeah. I praise God for allowing not just him, but all of our teachers that came before us, uh, uh, us youngins, man, that was out there. And the Lord was dropping his knowledge on them, and they was getting busy before our time. Right. Now we got the battle, uh, uh, the uh, baton. We got to keep going. Go ahead and read, brother. What else? Mid-11, which has become the head of the corner. Yes, sir. He become the head of what? The, the corner. corner. That's what we read, ain't it? Yes. Go ahead and read, brother. Neither is there salvation in any other. Yes. For there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. So you can't go over to Mecca and say, well, I don't believe in what you're talking about. Mm. You can be purified and white all day, eat beans and, and whatever. But listen, 
you will not get no salvation because he said ain't no name and not none other than who? Jesus Christ. That's the one that's got to deal with. Go ahead and read. He's the chief cornerstone right here. This guy's the one. Right. Go ahead. 13. Now when they saw the boldness of Peter and John and perceived that they were unlearned and ignorant men. What they... come up on, hold on, what come up on us after we have the Lord give us that spirit? Boldness. Mm -hmm. Notice that. Go ahead and read. They marveled and they took knowledge of them that they had been with Jesus. Yes, sir. First they just thought that they were like unlearned and old ignorant dudes until they opened their mouths and showed them <laughs> thing. And until they start doing the miracles, now they understand who and what they're about. It's just like us walk through that door and you hit them with something. Now they all, now they they understand where you're coming from. Some of them right. do, some of them don't. Go ahead, read. You want me to keep going past thirteen? Oh no, you read all of that, right? Yes, they sir. marvel and they took knowledge of them that they had been with Jesus. So he was talking to the Israel and the elders, that right? Yeah. Let's look at who else he's talking to. Let's go over to Ephesians. Paul picked up the mantle. Not the mantle, the uh, baton. I keep, well, I keep saying that mantle. The uh, uh, baton. So now Paul got a knee over with the Gentiles. And I ain't talking about no Israel for anybody that's listening. Mm -hmm. Who got just a uh, bad behavior and they was exiled them from uh, the rest of the people. Mm -hmm. All Israel was upside down. What do you mean exiled? Mm. One group of three of them gonna remain around because they were righteous. No, they stood up there and watched the, the nine tribes become foolish, and the Lord whooped them too. Jeremiah, the mouth of Jeremiah is not telling you that. So now Ephesians 2 and verse 1. Ephesians 2 and 1. Go ahead and read, my brother. And you have he quickened who were dead in trespasses and sins. He said, not only you, Israel, about this cornerstone, he said, and hey, you, have he quickened who he talking about? Go ahead and read, we're going to find out. Wherein in time past you walked according to the course of this world, yes. according to the prince of the power of the air. Yes. The spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience. Wait a minute, you were quickened. He said, now you are quickened and you were dead. Who were dead and trespasses and sins. You don't live according to that no more. Go ahead and read that. Mm -hmm. Verse among three. among whom also we all had our conversation in times past in the lust of our flesh, fulfilling yes. the desires of the flesh and of the mind. Yes. And, and were by nature the children of wrath, even as others. Yep, that's why I don't, act, I don't look down on people and talk crazy. I might know because I was there too. Mm -hmm. I was tearing the pork up, the chitlins and all that too. <laughs> Trust me, I had my hand was in it too. Oh. Ham was one of the favorite meats. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Mm. Skip down to verse five, brother. Now it's turkey took the place. Go ahead and read <laughs> verse five. Even when we were dead in sins, have quickened us together with Christ. Yes. By, by grace ye are saved. By what? Grace ye are saved. Skip down to verse 11. Wherefore, remember that ye being in time past Gentiles in the flesh. Gentiles in a what? The flesh. In a what? Flesh. Oh, in the flesh. Why he say that? Because now this is a spiritual walk that you're walking. And guess what? He let you know that you were children of J. You are children of J. Fat, lit in the lineage wise. But guess what? Spiritually speaking, you Abraham, see, man, because you come after. Jesus Christ who come through Abraham. You that you 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 the ones that fuck you come behind that uh stone that's laid for us. Go ahead and read. He finna tell us that. Go ahead. Mid eleven. Who are called uncircumcision? Yep. By that which is called the circumcision in the Israel. flesh. Uh, Israel. Israel is called it in the uncircumcision. That's all they saying. Go ahead. Right. By that which is called the circumcision in the flesh, made yes. by hands. Yes, sir. Go ahead. That at that time ye were without Christ, yes, being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel. Of uh, who? Israel. So he couldn't be talking about this split up into Gentiles over it. No, I mean, it's it's very, it's it's talking about everybody right there. That's a whole Israel. Go ahead. 
and strangers from the covenants of promise. Yes. Having yeah, no hope and without God in the world. Because if Israel didn't come to you, you was dead, you was done. Mm -hmm. And y'all had them idols. Skip down to verse 11 and read. I mean, I'm sorry, verse 19 and read. Now, therefore, you are no more strangers and foreigners, but fellow citizens with the saints and of the household of God. Yes, sir. And are built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets. Oh, first of all, he said, now you're therefore no more strangers and foreigners. Hey, who is he talking to? He let you know that that's how they was amongst us. He always, the Lord always told you that they, the stranger this, the stranger that. Let them not say that they are not of my people and so on and so forth. He said, now you are uh, no more strangers, but fellow citizens. Go ahead and read. And are built up upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets. And uh, hold on. The apostle and the prophets. Go ahead. Yeah. Jesus Christ himself being the chief corner. Right there, that is, yeah, yeah, because uh, somebody all in the weather, man. Right, listen, that's the key right there. This thing was built on the apostles and the prophets. Prophet. That's the key, and I'm glad you hit that. Yes, sir. Yes, indeed. Was that it? You wanted to touch on it more times, or you was just pointing that out? Go ahead and read, bro. 21 in whom all the building fitly framed together groweth unto an holy temple in the lord oh so these two now we're just talking about all these uh children he said all these things supposed to come to be grow to be one building he called him the holy temple he's just giving us these analogies y'all go ahead in whom ye also are built together for an habitation of god through the spirit yeah, and if that cornerstone foundation is strong, you cannot move that building at all. Mm -hmm. That's why he had to be the chief cornerstone. Because mm -hmm. you can't move this guy. He told you. He said, ain't nobody the ones the Father gave him. He can't pluck me. Ain't nobody plucking them out of my hand. In other words, the thief is not jumping on, on top of this roof and start getting at this building. Let's go to my last spot on this one. First Peter 2, and then I'm sliding over to Zion. One more real quick, First Peter 2, because he's going to say something over here to, first, and, uh, Peter, to Peter now, while they in uh, uh, captivity. First Peter 2 and verse 5. When you get it, go ahead and read, bro. Ye also, as lively stones, are built up a spiritual house. He called them what? Lively stones are yeah. built up a spiritual house. Same conversation. Yeah, I see. Yeah. Now from one and jump to another, and each one I'm talking about the same thing. Go ahead and read. Lively stones are built up in spiritual house and holy priesthood to yes. offer up spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God by Jesus Christ. Yes, sir. Go ahead. Wherefore also it is contained in the scripture, behold, I lay in Zion a chief cornerstone, elect, uh -huh. precious. And he that believeth on him shall not be confounded. And that one is in Isaiah. Go ahead and read. Yes, sir. Unto you, therefore, which believe he is precious. But unto them which be disobedient, the stone which the builders disallowed, the same is made the head of the corner. And what's going to happen to him? Uh, this is what the brother was doing right there. That's why James pointed that Thanksgiving out. The, the brother was hard-headed. He didn't want to ex re re receive correction. He gonna give us a, a reason why he still wanna eat it. Let's see why what the Lord say. Go ahead and read, brother. Verse hey. eight. And a stone of stumbling. And a oh, stone. and a stone of stumbling. That brother over there stumbling. Go ahead and read. Got a bunch of people with him too. Go ahead. And a rock of offense. Yes. Even to them which stumble at the word, being disobedient, whereunto also they were appointed. Were also they appointed brothers disobedient, and not just him, it's a lot of the people. And again, I said I ain't looking down on them. Plain and simple. Somebody bring it to you, examine what they said, and stand corrected. 
stand in front of that same camera you was lusting in front of and say, you know what, I stand corrected. I was wrong, Israel. We're not supposed to keep the, uh, 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 these, uh, uh, we're supposed to keep the dietary law, period. Mm. Right. Mm -hmm. And that pork won't be on my table no more. No, no. That's what he should be saying. Yep. So now I'm turning back over to James. Hey, oh, hey, brother Kevin, listen, man. This Bible has two sides, but it's still one word. Yes. One God, one spirit, one faith, one baptism. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. The law and the yes. testimony go hand in hand, brother. And mm -hmm. let's go show you some more evidence of that in 1 Corinthians 14, 21. Because <clears throat> we run into a lot of these brothers and they spend all their time trying to say, well, this Hebrew, that's Hebrew. How you know what's Hebrew, man? Right. How you know that? And then it's like you're ignoring all this other stuff in this Bible. Like what we that's about to read right now. First Corinthians 14 and 21. First, First Corinthians 14 and 21. Go ahead and read that, brother. In the law, it is written, with men of other tongues and other mm -hmm. lips will I speak unto this people. Hold on. <laughs> Paul is writing to you in the testimony and he said but in the law it was written down that with men of other tongues not of this tongue yes not of this tongue brother kevin no nope, but no. of other tongues yes right. sir other right. tongue not yes. aramaic not hebrew mm -hmm. no nope. with men of other tongues will i speak to this people go ahead and yet for all that will they not hear me say of the lord because your 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 eyes are heavy and your ears are yeah. dull okay you still won't hear but the lord told you he was gonna talk to you and paul told you it was written in the law that the lord say he was gonna speak to you in another tongue or in other words another official recognized language, language. okay yes, because he knew he was going to scatter you and have you in servitude to other people getting bought and sold by other people and when people buying you and selling you and owning you guess what language you have to speak theirs okay mm -hmm. so now let's let's go to isaiah 28 my brother you have to speak that language you Thank got you. all these brothers want to come and even in that brother's explanation of why he was eating the pork he going to try to show some Hebrew word that mean uh, unclean only refers to religious or ceremonial, not, ref not referring to what you eat. You see what I'm saying? Israel go way out there with, oh, what Hebrew mean? Man, you don't speak no Hebrew. You speak, you spoke English real good. You said, I got a roast pork on this table. Right. You said, I got pepper, I got bacon in this corn. In fact, it's peppered bacon. And then right. you said, I got a pork ham that I marinated ooh, for four days in Coca-Cola. Didn't he sure say that, Brother did. Kevin? Yeah, yeah, mm. You speak That's English right. real good, brother. Right. But in, in explaining why you got that swine on the table, you're going to refer to something written in Hebrew, man. Right. Or so what you think is Hebrew. Right. But you spoke <laughs> that English real good, sir. Right. Read it out the Bible to why we can't do it. Show me that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, do that. He can't do that, bro, Kevin. But look here, Isaiah 28. Let's pick it up at verse 11 because Paul said that it was written in the law. So now let's go to the law and <laughs> Isaiah and read it 28 and 11. Go ahead and read that, bro. For with stammering lips and another tongue will he speak to this people. See, that's what Paul was quoting. But yeah. but we started less than I was showing you in Act 28 that Paul it said that Paul taught out of Moses and the prophets. Yeah. And Paul quoting the prophet right here. And he said it was written in the law. That he said with for uh, 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 he said for with the stammering lips and another tongue will I speak to this people. Another tongue means just that, not this tongue. Another right, <laughs> right. If if me and you sitting in a Honda Accord, <laughs> and I drop you off, 
and I said, I'm going to pick you up in another car, that means I'm not coming back in that Honda Accord, right? <laughs> nah. <laughs> I'm not coming back in the Honda. I'm coming back in a Toyota if you, Corolla. If you, you do, Jay, if you do, that person going to say, I thought you said you, was coming, you weren't coming back in this. Exactly. That's exactly what we're going to acknowledge. Hold on. I thought you said. Must have been right. speaking Yiddish. Right. Yeah. <laughs> right. So the Lord said, he said, for with stammering lips and what? Another, Another tongue. tongue. I'm going to speak to you. Not in this one. <laughs> so why are you showing up, Israel? Always talking about you got to speak Hebrew. Because if you if you keep and stand on that, then you got to get your scissors and cut Isaiah out your Bible. Facts. <laughs> like and that. then you got to cut out <laughs> You got to cut out what Paul wrote in 1 Corinthians 14 because he quoted Isaiah. And then every time somebody quoted Isaiah, cut that out. Jesus quoted Isaiah in Matthew 25 and in Mark 7. Okay? Mm -hmm. yes, cut that sir. out, you book. <laughs> mm. The law and the testimony go together. But the Lord already told you Israel still won't even hear. So now let's go to Mark chapter 13. Mark 13. But we just had to point this out because brothers still trying to show up, trying to act like they smarter than everybody. Ugh. Talking about speaking, speaking Hebrew. Listen, man. <laughs> it's not even the original Hebrew. <laughs> Listen, we don't really know what it is. <laughs> right. <laughs> we really don't know what it is. But, oh, but, man. but me and you see English as the same thing. So if I say blue to you, you know exactly what I'm talking about. If you say <laughs> up, Brother Rashad, we know what you're talking about. If Brother Kevin say, I'm going to the left, we know exactly what he's talking about. We speak in the same language. We speak we speak English, man. But Peace the Lord God. had it written in this book. He was going to speak to us in another tongue. It was written in the <laughs> law and in the testimony. Now watch this, because let's look at this one verse, Mark 13 and 10. What that say, brother? And the gospel must first be published among all nations. So if you're going to publish the gospel over there in, uh, say, Portugal, what language you got to publish it in, brother? Portuguese. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. If you're going to publish it in China, you got to publish it in Chinese or Mandarin. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Huh? She, she. If you publish it over here in London, you got to publish it in English. You publish it in Spain, you got to do it in Spanish. Hey, yeah. brothers. And if you go publish it over in the Philippines, you got to do it in their language, the Gallo, they call it. So look. Mm. By the time I think you, that's uh, what they call it. By the time huh? you finish, by the time you finish one chapter, bro, you you zapped out. But what you I'm saying is. Out. <laughs> but the whole point is, Brother Kevin, the Lord told us he was going to speak to us in other languages. So yeah. so why are these brothers trying to restrict the word of God under one language? When you can go read in Genesis that the Lord created all these languages. Yes. So being that he created them all, he understands them all. Confound and if he can speak mm -hmm. fish, then I know he can speak all these languages. So Jeez, look, brother. let's also, let's go in here. Psalm nineteen. Say what say you, brother Kevin? I was just gonna say one more thing too. Yeah, uh, the couple for those who may not know, the couple that uh, Isaiah twenty eight, where he said he's gonna speak another language. Yeah, Jeremiah seventeen and four. He let us know that too. Yeah, he said because you discontinue you from your heritage. Right, you finna go bye bye. Yes, and sir. when you do, you are gonna speak what they speak. Exactly. And the word and the message still gonna be the same because it's about a language. This is about the message, not about a language. But they, but they make it about your language and what you're wearing. Yeah. And they mouths full of abomination. Pork, and we we looking now. You got pork all over the time. They got the menorah set on the mind. table. They got the menorah set on the table right across from a mm. pork roast. Okay. Mm. Fringes. Listen. With pride, boy. Oh, proud man. <laughs> Proud. <laughs> so watch this here. Psalm. Psalm chapter 19. Let's start at verse 1, brother. Psalm. 
19 and 1. What did it say? The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament showeth his handiwork. Yes. Day unto day utter speech, and night unto night showeth knowledge. Mm -hmm. There is no speech nor a language where their voice is not heard. So you trying to tell me that the Lord can only hear in one language, man? That is so that is so untrue. But go ahead and continue, brother. Lord, their line is gone out through all the earth. Yes, sir. And, yes, and sir. their words to the end of the world. Yes. yes. In them hath he set a tabernacle for the sun. Skip down and hit that verse seven. The law of the Lord is perfect, yes. converting the soul. Yes. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. So watch this here. The title of the lesson is the law of the testimony. And Brother Rashad, he read this in the opening psalm, right? He said, look, the law, the law of the testimony, the law of the Lord is perfect. And then it says the testimony of the Lord is sure. Yeah. The law of the Lord will convert the soul and the testimony of the Lord will make wise the simple. The law and the testimony, they go together, brothers and sisters. Go ahead and continue, brother. The statutes of the Lord are right, yes. rejoicing the heart. Yes. The commandment of the Lord is pure, enlightening yes. the eyes. Uh-huh. The fear of the Lord is clean, enduring forever. The judgments of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. And we started this lesson off talking about the fear of the Lord, but go ahead and read, brother. More to be desired are they than gold, yeah, mm -hmm. than much fine gold. Mm -hmm. Sweeter also than honey and the honeycomb. Look, brothers and sisters, we talking about the law of the Lord, the testimony of the Lord. We talking about the statutes of the Lord are right. We talking about his commandments being pure and enlightening the eyes. That's what we talking about. It, and then the fear of the Lord enduring forever. And we said, they are more to be desired than of gold, brothers and sisters. Yes. And, and look, than much fine gold is sweeter than honey and the honeycomb. That's got to be real sweet, okay? Yeah. Go right. ahead and read, brother. Moreover, by them is thy servant warned. And by these, by the law and the testimony and these commandments and these statutes, you are warned. And if you allow yourself to be warned, and line yourself up with the law and the testimony, what happens, brother? And in keeping of them, there is great reward. And if you keep them, there is great reward. I'm landing right there. What you got, brother Kevin? Praise God. And guess what? Yes, the reward may not come today. Right. But, but it's you come. get that reward. I yes, so. Same yes, way so. we got this punishment and woke up out there and out of nowhere. And yes, the so. Lord said, slap us with it. It's the, the same way they are going to get you out of nowhere yes, in, the, in, the, in the midst of that. So let's go to Revelation 19 real quick. Revelation 19, we only got a few, and we're going to close it down. Revelation 19 and verse 7. Let's go here and let um, John tell us about this testimony and this uh, uh, prophecy. Uh, 19 and verse 7, brother. Go ahead and read. <clears throat> Let us be glad and rejoice and give honor to him. Yes. For the marriage of the lamb is come. That's and right, his brother. wife hath made herself ready. She ain't playing around. She dressed. Go ahead. <laughs> and to her was granted that she should be arrayed in fine linen, clean and white. Yes. For the fine linen is the righteousness of saints. Yes. Let you know what that represent. Go ahead. And he saith unto me, write. Blessed are they which are called into the marriage supper of the Lamb. And he said unto me, These are the true sayings of God. That's right. And what did he do, brother? And I fell at his feet to worship him. And he said unto me, See thou do it not. Oh, but you want men to fall down at your feet mm. and kiss at him and stuff like that. Well, mm. I tell you, we hard hit it. That's why the Lord said that man, he said, a stone, a stumbling. But a mm. rock of offense yes. to those yes. obedience oh. ones. To us, we understand, and the ones that think we crazy, uh, it ain't, ain't nothing but smoke, Sunday tricks, uh, can't let the church go, and all that. All right, go ahead and read, bro. Mid 10. I am thy fellow servant 
and of thy brethren that have the testimony of Jesus. Yes, I'm your fellow servant. I'm out putting in this work like you. Get up. Go ahead and read. Worship God. Yes. For the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. Wait a minute. The testimony of Jesus is what, brother? The, it's spirit, the spirit of, of prophecy. prophecy. It's going to take you back there to prophecy. That's all it is. And it's going to let you know this, that this is from the book. Who, can, who turned around and, and pointed that out to? Let's go to Genesis before uh, I'll be, we're going to point that out. But let's go to Genesis, the 49th chapter, and read about what we just looked at with this guy. We'll be back for, him, uh, for a part of it. Yeah, we'll be back for a part of that. 49 and verse 1. When you get it, you can go ahead and read. And Jacob called unto his sons and said, Gather yourselves together, that I may tell you that which shall befall you in the last days. And today, time, right now. Right. Yes, in these days. Go ahead. I'm going to skip down. Yes, I'll skip down on 8 9. I'm sorry. Judah is a lion's whelp. Yes. From the prey, my son, thou art gone up. Yes, sir. What else? He stooped down. He couched as a lion. And as an old lion, who yes. shall rouse him up? He ain't just talking about no man. He ain't talking about, he ain't just talking about, he ain't talking about Israel, per se. He talking about one individual. Go ahead, brother. Yeah. The scepter shall not depart from Judah, nor yes. a lawgiver from between his feet until yeah. Shiloh come. Until who come? Jesus. Shiloh. Excuse me. Yeah. Yeah, Jesus, you're right. Because we know who Shiloh is. Yes. Right? And unto him shall the gathering of the people be. Hey, Rashad had say, oh, yeah, because there's some people out there that might think we, they don't know we know what we're talking about over here. Well, go ahead and read, brother. 11. Binding his foal unto the vine and yes. his ass's colt unto the choice vine. Yes. We what watched his say? we wa he washed his garments in wine and his clothes in the blood of grapes. Right. So now go ahead and read 12. His eyes shall be red with wine, and his teeth white with milk. Right. Go now, go back to Revelation real quick, 19. And read the verses we left off from the two verses. Uh, I believe they are. Let me make sure. 11 and 12. Mm -hmm. When you get it, go ahead and read, brother. What he, what he would look like. And I saw heaven opened, and behold, a white horse. And he that sat upon him was called Faithful and True. Yes. And in righteousness he doth judge and make war. That's right. What else? His eyes were as a flame of fire. Yes. Wait, all... ain't, ain't that what he said his eyes was going to be uh, in the book of Acta in uh, Genesis? Yes, sir. 49 red, right? Yes. He said, but he said as a flame of fire. Go ahead. And on his head were many crowns. Yes. And he had a name written that no man knew but himself. That's but right. he himself. Yes, go ahead. And he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood. Dipped in what? Blood. And that's what he said it was going to happen in Genesis too. Shiloh got blood all over his corner. Yeah. And not because he was playing, because when a lion turned up his prey, do you know that his heart, his mane and all that is bloody? His whole body bloody. And he licking that blood off of himself, getting it off. Right. That's how that lion do. Go ahead and read. Mm -hmm. right? In 13. And his name is called? The word of God. We know that it is none other than Jesus. Go to yes, Second sir. Peter, and then we got one more. Second Peter, Peter said, if you don't believe Jesus, all right. No, if you don't believe John, what he just said, look at what I'm finna say. Mm. And then if you don't believe me, I got one more. Mm. We're gonna let's see what Peter, uh, uh what Jesus said after that. Second Peter 1 and 19. Go ahead and read, brother. What he say? We have also a more sure word of prophecy. Oh, so if you don't believe what I'm explaining right here before you, because he's telling them, explaining to them how Jesus had, the Father had spoke with, no, yeah, Jesus, and called him his beloved son. In other words, an angel did that, because the, the Father voice wasn't heard in no time, nor his shape. And then he was, he was speaking to him and all these different things he was making. No, go ahead. 
were unto ye do well that ye take heed as unto a light that shineth in a dark place That's until right. until the day dawn and the day star arise in your hearts. So what we need to know now first. Knowing this first, that no prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation. So we can't go get a book outside of this one that's going to tell us the sir, the, that this word right here means ceremony. Stick with that over what the book say. No, the Bible is explaining itself. That's what we've been doing this whole time. We ain't went to one dictionary. Or one book to show you anything other than from law, testimony, law, testimony, prophecy. Go ahead. For the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man, but holy men of God spake as they were moved by the Holy Ghost. And even, and even you can read that in Samuel when David said his pen was like the mouth of a ready writer. Yes. He said he spoke as the uh, 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 as the holy. He said he spoke as the spirit spake by him. You know, I might got that one confused, but he said he, he spoke as the spirit gave uh, uh, spake by him utterance. Yeah. So now let's back up to our last spot, John chapter five, because the ready writer, I believe, that's in another spot. But it just lets you know that these spots, all this prophecy is all over the place, and then the testimonies are there. It's right before our faces, all the stuff. We should not come up out of an open book test and flunk it unless mm. you slept through the whole lesson or you just said, I don't want to believe nothing in that. Five and verse 45, what do you say, bro? Do not think that I will accuse you to the Father. That's right, bro. There is one that accuseth you, even Moses. Yes. In whom ye trust. He said, I ain't going to accuse you to no father. Moses going to do that because he said he's going to open them books. Some books were open. Go ahead and read. For had ye believed Moses, ye would have believed me. Why? He wrote of me. Oh. Because I'm written that back there. Go ahead. Right. But if ye believe not his writings, how shall ye believe my words? Because it's the law and the testimony. They go hand to hand. Look, love to hand. Come on now. It ain't mm. that hard. But we make it difficult because we don't want to believe it in time because our flesh rise up. Let's be honest. Just if you're going to see it, I'm going to say you better do it and don't lie on this book. But I'm going to tell you don't sin at all. But I'm going to say right. If you do it, you don't lie on the word. You better not. But, you know, we're going to turn it back over to uh, the panel, the brothers, and see what they got because that's it, y'all. The law and the testimony. Hope um, somebody got something from us. Yes, sir. Uh, hey, look, that, that this this last spot, John 5, was the nail in the coffin. Mm -hmm. If you yes, don't believe Moses writings, you done. Yeah. <laughs> You, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. yeah. You're done. You're done, son. If you don't believe Moses right, you don't believe nothing Jesus said. Mm -hmm. That's right. So you're done. So all of this stuff goes hand in hand. And that was a that was a the the a, 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 the righteous final verses for this this lesson titled The Law and the Testimony. Uh they go hand in hand as we show tonight. Thank you, Sister Rebecca Israel. Uh Brother Vaughn, Brother Reginald, Sabrina Flowers, peace, my sister, sister Melissa. Hey, uh, hey, that was that's just it, man. The law and the testimony they go hand in hand. If somebody trying to teach you one side of the book, they wrong. And uh, <laughs> and that also, as we showed you on the side note in some of these verses, if somebody telling you you got to speak Hebrew, they wrong. That's right. The Lord said you were going to get spoken to. In another tongue. That's right. If he was saying they're going to speak to you in this tongue, he would have said that. He said another tongue. French. Right. That's right, brother. <laughs> English. English. There we go. Japanese. Right. There and we go, Russian brother. language. German. Yes, yes. English. That's Portuguese. Right. That's right. Confounded them languages. 
Arabic, all of it. All of that, you were going to get spoken to. Latin. Yeah. Spanish. Hey, you know what? Real quick, he said to read uh, Acts 2, what they was all speaking, that was they came up to. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah they, they came real quick. Oh, needs and all that. Yeah, read, read mm -hmm. that Two and quick. five. Let's go hit mm -hmm. Acts 2, verse 5, real quick. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Acts 2, verse 5. But hey, man, it just, it just, I just marvel at all the stuff Israel put out here on the table. Well, you got to do this and you got to do that. But the plain and simple stuff, they won't do that. Acts chapter 2, my brother, start at that verse 5. Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead and read. <clears throat> and there were dwelling at Jerusalem Jews, devout men out of every nation under heaven. So you had Israel in Jerusalem from all the other nations. Now skip down uh, 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 to verse 7. What that say? And they no, were no, all... No, 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 you know what? Just go ahead and keep picking up at verse 6. Go ahead. Now when this was noised abroad, the multitude came together and were confounded. Because that every man heard them speak in his own language. So whatever language, whatever country they were from, they heard the word in their own language. Go ahead and read. And they were all amazed and marveled, saying one to another, Behold, are not all these which speak Galileans? Yes. And how hear we every man in our own tongue, wherein we were born? You see that? And then mm -hmm. it said, how is that we hear the word in our own tongue in the land where we were born. born and in verse yeah. 5 it said they come from everywhere but let's right. look at some of these places they come from go ahead and read brother 9 Parthians and Medes look y'all know what Medes are the Medes are, 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 are the people Rush. over there in Russia okay yeah, go ahead and read brother and Elamites and mm -hmm. the dwellers in Mesopotamia and in Judea mm -hmm. and Cappadocia and Pontus and Asia Phrygia and Pamphylia in Egypt and in the parts of Libya about Cyrene and strangers of Rome, Jews and proselytes. Cretes and Arabians, we do hear them speak in our tongues the wonderful works of God. Y'all see that? So somebody was there speaking Arabic, people was there with speaking Greek, all these all these different languages. Read that last part one more time. And they when they heard us do speak, we heard them speak the wonderful works of our what? And wonderful works tongue. of God in yeah. our in our tongues, right? In our tongues, yeah. mm -hmm. yes, in our tongues, letting us know them languages. Right. James kept quite pointing that out earlier. Mm -hmm. Language, tongue, language. It's it's sad that he had to, you know, get up there in front of you, like you know, five years old teaching children. But you, that's how you got to speak to Israel because we act like we ain't, we can't hear you know, yeah, or understand, but. It's that simple right there. So, hey, uh, brothers and sisters, we hope somebody got some edification in this lesson. And we know that a lot of us have people that we work with or family members or neighbors that we talk to. And some of them just they, they want to strictly deal with Sunday and New Testament and you run into some proofs and all they want to read is some Old Testament and you run into some people who say they Jews and they say all they deal with it's the first five books, but yet they got to start talking about David. David ain't read nowhere in Deuteronomy. Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, or Genesis, okay? Mm -hmm. So, uh... So, 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 you know, so, hey, we hope this lesson will arm you with some verses that you can go and show people that the Old and the New Testament go together, uh, that you can show them that if you're being taught out of one and not the other, there's no truth in that person. Mm -hmm. uh, so we just hope y'all got something out tonight's lesson. Yes, indeed. I praise God. Mm -hmm. Praise God for that. Excellent, excellent lesson. Excellent lesson, brother James, brother Kevin. Sure. Appreciate yeah, great, yeah, great, great points and spots. So yeah. Mm -hmm. So I just hope this get back to uh, that brother, <laughs> so he can uh, help clean up. And I, and it ain't the dog to help clean up his house. Like if I if I had his number, I can get with him on the phone. I do that. 
be like, hey, bro, hey, clean your house up, man. I know where you come from. I understand. I ain't eat that, though, when I learned about the law. One of the first things was get rid of the food off the table. Right. Mm-hmm. So, but I know how to tell them, hey, man, I understand the zeal, but the Lord said, <laughs> according to our own, not right, our own righteousness, we got zeal, you know. But uh, that's it. I hope everybody have, have a uh, exceptional Sabbath tomorrow. Class with each other, fellowship, family, uh, uh, being with each other. And uh, that's basically it on my end. And again, forgive me for my shortcoming on a what's the name. I hey, bro, Kevin, I just I got that nice list. Oh, did you? Oh, I'm glad you did. I need to watch that because I ain't get a chance. All oh, Israel must came down on him, bro. Cause no, no, so you quit. didn't see the first one where he had the pork on the table? Yeah, I saw that one. I ain't seen okay, it now much. I just sent you his explanation of why. I just sent you that one. Yeah, that's why I said all oh, Israel must came down on his head after they seen that go. Oh, oh you know, they, they let him have it. <laughs> they let him have it because even in the video I saw this is wicked <laughs> I saw somebody put that up there so you know he got hammered by mm. Israel okay right 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 hey brother Noel Berry Jesse and Roland got that video hit them up let them send it to you they got it I sent it to both of them okay mm. Oh, okay, gotcha. Hey, what one of y'all sent it to me? I think Noel, I know El may have did it. He may what have sent it? it to me. Oh, he, he oh, you said he, you sent it to me, James, already, right? Yeah, I sent you the one where uh his his explanation gotcha. is going all into well in Hebrew. It means this and that, you know. Yeah. Uh, somebody hey, asked me we have a place close to Dayton, Ohio. I don't think we have a, we don't have a, we don't have a spot close to uh, Dayton, Ohio. I think we have a place down in uh, Indianapolis. Let me see, Dayton, Ohio. Dayton is close to Cincinnati. I think the closest ILG to Dayton is Cleveland, but there's a house of Jacob in Cincinnati, if I'm not mistaken. Mm. I think there's a house of Jacob, uh, whoever that person is. Let me see. Milwaukee, for sure. I know they got one. They got one. Yeah, uh, I think it's one in Cincinnati, Jacob. too. Yeah, Cincinnati, yeah. I but if you want to go to Israel of God, it's one closest one to you is in Cleveland, and I think it's one in Indianapolis. <laughs> but, uh, Brother Ezra, brother Ezra, you want the the one where where Israel is eating the pork, or you want the explanation video, <clears throat> brother brother Ezra? <laughs> Carlos said he having hog withdrawals. <laughs> yeah, oh, okay, man. it is House of Jacob in Cincinnati. Uh, brother Ezra, let me see. <laughs> Could have sent that one over to him. Let me see. Oh. Okay, this Daniel. Okay, brother Daniel, I just got your message. Okay. Israel won both of them too. Okay, cool. Um Okay. All right, everybody. See you guys next week, Lord willing.
That I'm is right. Yeah, I'm gonna jam on up off of her like everybody else and get ready for the get ready for prep uh, prep preparation for being at that class. And right. getting to set the table set for the folk. Service. That's what we do. Yes, so. sir. All right, brothers and sisters, y'all go have that whole convocation tomorrow. We'll see y'all, Lord willing. Uh, same time, same channel next Friday night, okay? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Peace, everybody. Much love to y'all. Sabrina Flowers, peace. peace and blessings to you. Yes, indeed. Peace and love.